Welcome to part two of a two-part video series on using SharePoint for contract tracking. Hi, I'm Dean Virag, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to apply invoices against the contracts stored in the contracts library. But first, a quick recap of the first video. In that video, I demonstrated that a SharePoint library is an excellent tool for storing and tracking contracts that metadata and views are essential tools for gaining insights into the status of contracts, that the available balance and percentage of value remaining of a contract can be tracked, that the ability to track changes within MS Word is still available within SharePoint, and that SharePoint will automatically store previous versions of a contract. Now, on to part two applying invoices against a contract. We begin with accounts payable clerk having already received and reviewed an invoice from vendor C for contract one. The clerk opens the vendor invoice submit form. There, the clerk selects vendor C from the vendor dropdown and selects vendor C contract one from the contract dropdown. Note that the contracts displayed in the dropdown will automatically change based on the vendor that's selected. Upon selection of a contract, the available balance of the contract will be displayed. This field is for reference purposes only and cannot be overwritten. The clerk then enters the value of the invoice and attaches the invoice to the form and then clicks Submit to add the invoice to the library. When the file is added to the library, an automated email is sent to the invoice approver. In our example, the email message is fairly simple, but please note that the content of the email can easily be changed and you can put whatever you want in it. Clicking the link in the email will open the invoice form again, but this time to the approval view. Here, the invoice approver can open the invoice and review it. Add the decision date, select the approval decision, and add comments about the approval decision. Clicking Submit Decision saves the decision information. If the invoice was approved, the invoice amount is automatically deducted from the available balance of the associated contract, and the accounts payable clerk is sent an automated notification that the invoice was approved and the check can be cut. If the invoice was denied, both the vendor and the accounts payable clerk are sent automated notifications, including the approval decision comments. That's all there is to it. Now, let's revisit the contracts library to see that the amount was deducted. As you can see, the remaining balance of vendor C contract one is now down to $100 and that the percent remaining is now well below 20%. Let's take a quick look at the below 20% remaining view to see if the contract shows up. Click on the below 20% remaining view, and there it is. If you remember from the last video, we did not have any contracts that were below 20% remaining, so nothing displayed in this view. And now we have something. In this video, I demonstrated a fairly simple but very effective solution for processing invoices against a contract. This is just a baseline solution. There's so much more that can be done to enhance the visibility and tracking of your contracts using SharePoint. Thanks for watching.